that's a double major. I had like Gene was one of my advisors, and then I had like Carol, the CP advisor, and I told Gene like, oh, so this it's like having two moms. Okay. So I think my favorite class I took was one called uh, TV Lighting. Uh, it was an RTD class. It was like 403 with Jan Thompson. And uh, she had us do this, uh, a lot of pro like video projects that were based on like books. So I, I got to do a adapt adaptation of Telltale Heart, but instead we replaced it with just a really bad roommate. And so... <laughs> It was basically just a comedy skit that we filmed for our final project, and it was so funny. Um, we had a ton of fun working on it, and yeah, it was just one of the most fun things I've ever done uh, here. My favorite experience uh, at SIU has definitely been um, doing Ad Lab and American Advertising Federation for the past two years. Um, I actually stayed a little bit longer to participate in the NSAC competition again. Um, and it was definitely worth it. I would say it is between my favorite memory and our classes per se. I'd have to say two things. One is that I had a law and economics class that's sort of unrelated to mass comic journalism that it really like shaped the way I look at my future. And then the second one is probably working at the Daily Egyptian actually. And yeah, it's because, um, I don't know, it was very hands-on uh, into what like real life was like. It was quite the experience, like taught me a lot of lessons that like I definitely could see myself using for the rest of my life. Well, I'm very aware of my hair right now. My favorite class in particular though, was a class taught at the time by Air Beats from Dwayne Moore. It was graphic communications and it taught me the introduction to Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign. Uh, and that was really imperative because I got to that halfway through college and I never would have been able to discipline myself to learn it on my own. So having the class teach me that really came in handy because you really do use those uh, materials almost every day, if not every other day when you're at work. I, I have two. I took analog with Dan Overturf which is a requirement for photography students, and it was amazing. I had never done film before, so it was really, really fun to get to experience that, and he taught it really well. Um, and then I took Professor Fry Vogel's First Amendment Law class, and when I took his class, um, I was just kind of testing the waters to see if I wanted to go to law school, and then I took his class, and he taught it like a law class, and I was like, even halfway through, I knew, I was like, I'm going to law school after this class. So it was wonderful. It was great. I will always remember the time spent in all the labs next to all of the other students, like working on various audio projects or different movie soundtracks. It's that, that time uh, is really valuable to me. And I'm sure it's valuable to those friends that I was editing with because there were nights of being up till five in the morning working and editing and staring at screens, but it was honestly one of the best experiences to be able to power through big projects with those guys. So it was a lot of fun. Um, all the audio classes taught me so much and I will always remember the lessons I learned from that and the music that we made. So that, those were very important classes and teachers to me, all, uh, Jay Needham and Jenny Johnson. I think my favorite memory from my time at SAU would be uh, working at the DE, definitely. I got to do so many cool things, uh, like shooting the football games is always really fun. Uh, just learning from everyone who was there, like Aiden Osborne, who was our photo coach, and Angel, uh, who just knew a lot and could help us out. And we were like pretty much on our own doing our own thing. And that was a lot of fun. My favorite class was honestly probably a Wago's post-production class because I'm an editor. I really like doing that. And that class taught me a lot. Um, also just like working with Alt News. I'm in the loft right now because um, I'm on, on the clock down in the NMC as I'm doing this. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, just any time I got to work with Alt News, which was most of the time at 
in college was just a great experience. So one of the one of the more memorable things that I have on the top of my head from SAU actually recently was <laughs> the cockroach. Um, <laughs> so we were in the lab one day, uh, we were shutting down and it, so it was just like me, another student, and um, so we were about to close up the photography lab and there's this giant cockroach, just like, it was like that long, it was crazy, it was just nasty. We were like, what do we do? <laughs> so we had to grab, we had to grab one of the film canisters, put it underneath, slide the paper and then chuck it outside. It was so funny, like we were so drained and like done with the day, we weren't even thinking about it. And like, it just kept going after me. Like no matter where I went, it just kept following me. It was crazy. <laughs> My favorite class ever was, I wasn't, I'm not so sure what the title of the course was. Um, it was um, basically um, art in nature, just about. It was taught by Cade Bursell. And um, I just loved that class so much because it was a good break from film. I actually took it at a time when I didn't know if I was gonna stick with film. And she taught me kind of how to be tactical about making my art, which is a really great skill to have. I believe um, one of the, one of the uh, best classes I took was a sound design class I took last I took last semester in which I learned techniques related to Foley, dialogue replacement, music scoring. We did everything, and we were really able to like get hands on with all the equipment and really master these techniques. And I feel like that was really a good skill that I, or a, a good skill that I picked up that I've since been able to use in other things. My favorite memory um, of SAU is. Uh, a film I wrote and directed for Movie Camera Movement called This Is Hell. It was my first time on a full-scale, large-scale production in that director position um, with my own script. And uh, it was just an incredible experience. Um, everyone on set loved it. Um, it was such a fun set. And uh, the movie turned out great. It was very funny. Um, so my favorite class, I really had a lot of, honestly, I know this is like a throwaway answer, but um, I loved almost all of my classes. I, I really loved like my time there because every single class I had, I, um, I had friends in and, you know, I really enjoyed learning about film, photography, production, um, in history, uh, I really enjoyed it. I will say that I think um, my production classes were the most exciting and helpful, as well as um, I took uh, Pencils to Pixels, which is a digital drawing class with Antonio. Um, that was really good to help me further um, my art uh, that I do you know, by hand. So I had that great distinction between the production, my film and photography art, and then the actual art that I draw where I got started. So those classes were all just very special. Like hands-on classes were probably one of my favorite ones that I can remember from, especially like in the RTD department with, we have the learning part in the classroom, but we also have like the um, lab time. So we have where you learn about how to use the cameras and everything like that. And I think one of the things that sticks out to me the most is like the people I had classes with, like that's so I can kind of see where I have like the most like favorite memories or like memories that I can remember. Um, probably, what I think, maybe like the performance class that we had, it kind of like really helped with like the, oh, I guess I got my email still open. I would say probably my performance class that I took in RTD, it's kind of like helps you with um, how to be a better like speech delivery and kind of like with news anchoring or just being on the news in general. It kind of helps with how to be more of a people kind of person and kind of teaches you how to talk to the camera kind of thing. My favorite one is actually the last one, the ad lab. That was the best. <laughs> that one it was really great because I feel like that's where I got the most like hands-on experience of any. And working on the NSAC competition was awesome. And we definitely pivoted 
and we pivoted well. <laughs> All of my favorite memories involve working within the photo cage and working with photogenesis and trying to just the memories that I made in the late nights and the events that I got to photograph. Okay, I think I know. I think I've got a good answer. Okay, so I think one of my favorite memories at SIU and with MICMA specifically, uh, there was a big welcome event right at the top of the semester and there was a dunk tank and all the RSOs were there and there was music playing and it was just, it was showcasing so much of, you know, what makes MICMA so special and the opportunities that are available. Um, and it gave so many opportunities for just camaraderie and meeting new people and getting to see all the people that you haven't seen over the summer. And it was just such a fun experience. And also getting to be in the dunk tank was fun. Getting to dunk my best friend on my first shot was really fun. Um, so it was just a really great experience all around for so many different reasons. My favorite class would have to have been the 2D animation courses I took my uh, freshman year at Carbondale with Professor Buzo. He was a really good teacher and he helped me to strengthen a lot of places that I was really weak in. And as for my favorite memory, uh, there's too many memories to be made there to pick a favorite one. The class I most enjoyed was, uh, was actually copywriting. Uh, I went into it expecting that from previous experience that I, I'm not a good writer, or at least that's what I thought. And uh, it, it turns out that I just needed to find a, a writing style or a, a genre of writing, a way of writing that, that makes sense. And, and doing that in advertising really just clicked. My favorite part of Masks Calm was definitely Ad Lab and just like getting that hands-on experience with, you know, local businesses and doing all that fun stuff. And I feel like I learned more in Ad Lab than I did in any of my other classes. So 